Hello, it's Stelios from Batman Studios and today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Toy Story 4 Buzz and Bo Peeps Playground Adventure set. It is recommended for ages 4 and up as this is a 4 plus set. It is set number 10768. And as I said in my previous video, this video is being recorded on the exact same day yesterday's video was recorded as I'm going to Legoland soon. And I don't really want to not have a review after I go Legoland. However, I would like to do something for Legoland. So if any of you have any ideas like a Legoland vlog when I go to Legoland in two days, actually, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, it is time to get into the review. Starting off with the packaging for this set. Now, in the bottom right hand corner we have the characters included in the set from their movie stills. We have Gabby Gabby, who, spoiler alert, is the main villain of Toy Story 4. We have Bo Peep, and we also have Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger. Here we have the 4 Plus logo in the bottom left hand corner. We have the Lego Toy Story 4 logo up here. Up here is the actual size of a Toy Story 4 Buzz Lightyear minifigure. On the back of the box we have like counter set to works. Mm, again, perfect start and all that stuff. Now for the instructions, I highly doubt they'll have advertisements for the other Toy Story 4 sets in the back. Yeah, they don't have any advertisements, so yeah, that's just the instructions, no one cares about them. Now it's time to get into the set, which is what you all came here for. So, first off, we have, actually I think we've got off with Bo Peep's car. Now again, spoiler alert, in Toy Story 4, Bo Peep uses this car to drive around as a lost toy so we can actually fit her in here let's try that yeah you can fit her in here too bad they don't have another seat that you can include woody on okay i guess you can include him on here but that would be a really tight squeeze this right here is a printed piece because as i said in the previous video there were no stickers in this set and there are no stickers in 4 plus sets, so that's good. Now let's get into the actual playground of this set. So first off we have this merry-go-round. You can spin it and it spins. And I suppose you can put, let's, let's put Gabby Gabby on. Actually, no, let's put Buzz on here. And you can spin him around. Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger is going to get dizzy. Now let's get on to the actual playground. Right, right, let's have it here. So here we have like a little entrance where, let's say, um, Bo Peeps, um, I believe it's a badger can drive in. If any of you know which animal this car is modelled after, let me know in the comments below. Yeah, it's like a little entrance, nothing too interesting I suppose. Here we have like a climbing ball where it leads you to here and there's like this little round window where let's say Gabby Gabby can go in here. Mm, that evil smirk. And I was like, I suppose you can put a minifigure here but it's not really that important. We also have this, I suppose it's like a rope where you can climb across. Or oh, heck, maybe even a bridge. I don't know. Here we have the rest of the playground. Well, I suppose a minifigure can walk through here. Up here we have like a little balcony setting. I suppose it's a balcony. Heck, there's even a fence right here. On the inside, there's nothing really too interesting except for a stove cooking a nice fried egg. 
which is making me really hungry. That's plus a little refrigerator, but yeah, nothing too interesting. Right, and this piece, again, it's printed in four plus sets. There are no stickers, which I like because I hate stickers. And here we have like a little slide. Well, Gabby Gabby can go. Or any minifigure. So, and also we have like this nice flag that goes on top of here. I am the Prime Minister of, Un of the United Kingdom, or President of the United States. In America, they have a president. Over here in England, they have a Prime Minister. Which, the new one was actually revealed not long ago, like I'd say a few weeks ago. Which I'm not saying, as I don't want to mention any celebrities and not give them, like, the fame. Like, even more fame. <laughs> Damn it, I just laughed. My goal from this video and from the previous video from yesterday was to not laugh. And I accidentally laughed twice, so I'm sorry about that. So now let's just get into the minifigures. Starting off with Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger. He is the exact same Buzz Lightyear that comes in the Carnival Thrill Coaster set. He does have wings, like you can remove them. Like, if you wanted a buzz from Toy Story 2, you can just remove the wins and take off the helmet. And then you have a helmet, a retracted helmet, no wind buzz. He has some nice printing on his legs. Again, a horrible face print. It's like whitish when it's supposed to be like nougat. Like flesh skin colours, but yeah. Nothing really too interesting. Interesting. It's the same that comes in the Carnival Thrill Coast set. Then we have Woody's love interest or girlfriend, Bo Peep. She has a nice purple cloth cape, which I believe it might be the first time we've ever got them. Oh, I'm just kidding. I remember, like, I have a few purple capes, so this is not the first purple cape we've got. But I suppose it might be the first cloth purple cape. I don't know. You guys might have to correct me in the comments. She has um, a crook to guard her sheep with. And this is her outfit from Toy Story 2. She's no longer wearing her pink outfit. She's wearing like this blue outfit. And she has a, she has a nice new hairpiece. And much like all of the minifigures... Like with the Jesse minifigure or the Woody minifigure, she has a nice um, face print that can be used for civilian minifigures. Ah, I, I think she has an alternate face. Yeah, there's an alternate face, but I prefer this. Oh, she also has some black torso printing. Let's move it here. She has a nice new hairpiece as well. I don't know if I've said it or I haven't already, but I believe I haven't, but... Now let's just get on to the final minifigure and it is Gabby Gabby, the main villain of Toy Story 4. And now she has some nice leg printing to represent like a skirt and some shoes. Too bad they're not dual moulded. but She reuses the Minnie Mouse dress piece but like with smaller polka dots on there and it's yellow on the back she has a pull string because if any of you have seen toy story 4 then you would know that she is a vintage 1950s pull string doll just like woody which if any of you watch my toy story 4 movie review which i keep mentioning in my videos you would know that the scene where woody gives his voice box to gabby gabby is my least favorite scene in toy story 4 because woody's a rare toy Sure, Gabby Gabby might be rare, but if I were a rare toy, I would not give up my voice box. Her hair is not new. It is from the series 18. Again, she has an evil smirk. Here yeah, she has a very happy face, but she's the main villain. I'm going to give her this really mean, evil smirk. Yeah. Now let's set up everything back up. And then we will go... 
into the final verdict of this video. So overall, I think that this is a good Toy Story 4 set. Sure, it might not be the best, but I do recommend getting this for younger Lego fans. Especially ones who love Toy Story. Like, if you're a Toy Story fan and you love both Lego and Toy Story, I recommend you get this set because it's a good set. Overall, I give this set about maybe a 7.5 out of 10 because, again, it's not really detailed. But, like I say, in all of my juniors and 4 plus reviews, you don't expect 4 plus sets to be very detailed. So thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video which might be a vlog on Legoland. If any of you would like to see me doing a vlog at Legoland please let me know in the comments below because I'm really excited to go Legoland. But yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video which as I said earlier hopefully will be a vlog at Legoland. Bye bye and have a nice day.